Hello, I'm J. Cole Sanford. I'm a cash crop product specialist for the Northeast region of the U.S. And uh, today we're showing the uh, first public unveiling in North America of the CR-10. CR-10 is the next generation chassis that follows along from the CR-11 that we showed earlier this year in the North American marketplace. So it carries a lot of the same technology. Really, this was a, a, a combine built from a clean sheet of paper. It's a, it's a next generation unit. And the design teams came up with all their innovations and all those sorts of things with the idea of decreasing the total cost of harvesting. And this is our next generation corn head. So this is the 9200 series. Uh, this particular model is 9216-30. And what that num number means is it's a 16 row at 30 inch spacing. And it has a lot of new tech on it to enable the high capacity CR10 that we show here. In fact, 50th anniversary of the twin rotor coming up in model year 25, so more on that later. But let's focus on the, on the 9200. So high capacity header needed for the high capacity combine. This header, it's compatible with any CR, so CR flagship or CR next gen. And on the 12 and 16 row model, you get the large auger that you see here. So this is the largest diameter auger in the industry for our corn head. And I had some personal experience last fall running the 12 row version of this head. And really anything that went to the auger went into the combine. So from a high capacity uh, standpoint, that auger is the key. And that allows us to feed all that material into the feeder house and uh, carry on with the high capacity in the machine. And it also starts at the row unit. So we'll take a look right here. This is our 9200 series row unit. Those that are keeping track, we actually had this row unit launched a few years ago with the 20 and 22 inch corn head that we offered from New Holland. And we've now made that into the 30 inch size. The cool part about this row unit is it's a, a lighter design. Uh, we've improved the, the spring system that holds the gathering chain. So it prevents any kind of slipping. So you'll notice that the gathering chains are intermeshing, so to speak, and we try to keep that timing uh, perfect. And the rigidity of the spring system allows us to do that. One other thing that we can do with the new row unit is both deck plates move and they're centered as we open and close these two deck plates, these two guys right here that you see. Um, and depending on the crop uh, condition or size, the size of the stock, the size of the ear, we can tighten those down and get a better, cleaner pick uh, with minimum header shelling. Um, or in larger corn or larger stocks, we can pull those apart. But the idea is both of those deck plates move in unison and they're centered over the stock roll. One other unique thing is this header is equipped with the chopper. So we can, uh, you can see that chopping row unit right there that I'm pointing. And we have the ability <coughs> uh, with this machine that we can turn those off or on uh, independently. Um, that's something you get out of the cab and do if you have some fields you want to chop and others you don't. The other unique thing about this is the drive line. So on the left hand side of the header, that drives all the row units, the auger. And then on the right hand side, when we have chopping, we have a different power shaft we hook up and that runs the chopping row unit. It's a kind of a unique deal where we separate out the drives depending on what it's actually doing. So we separate the drives for the chopper versus the, the main unit of the corn head. Then at the end of the row units that you see here, we currently have the tall corn attachment installed and it's installed over top of the end auger divider. So this is the first time we've had the ability to have either or. In previous designs and previous models, we weren't able to have auger end dividers if you wanted the tall corn attachment. And so a lot of situations in taller corn, the ears are up higher and we want to install this. In other situations, we can pull that off and store it on the back of the header. And then we can use the hydraulically driven auger end divider, which is just hides underneath that that you see here. And that helps us a lot in down corn situations uh, to help feed the material in. So overall, it's a really exciting header. Um, we're real excited to see this, uh, see it work um, uh, this fall and get high capacity out of the high capacity machines. If you want to learn more about the machine, search New Holland uh, Agriculture on any of the social media channels, as well as go to newholland.com slash NA, and that's where you can find uh, your facing dealer and you can contact them and you never know, you might even get a product specialist to come out on the visit to talk shop about the new CR 1011. So real excited about what we have and thank you very much.